Welcome to our therapy, a show about creating and crafting in order to escape the horrors that we face every day. Each episode, we'll be creating something that's gonna help us face our fears. So join me, let's get crafty. So today we're going to be making panties covered in fake pubic hair. This is not only going to be a beautiful decorative piece, but this is gonna be a way for us to get comfortable with this bigger idea of body image. Specifically, pubes. Could this hairless sort of demand in our culture be about an existential fear of growing old and dying? Does the man want us to look like a 12 year old girl for fucking ever? Take it all off, laser that shit off, burn it off, dry ice that shit off. We're paid less and tampons are still taxed. Botox, dry fucking ice. lip injections. I'm still supposed to be hot on Instagram every fucking day? You're too prude, you're too slutty. It's like biting into a popsicle with your front teeth, like freezing cold sensation, like over and over and over and over again. They almost gave this crafting show to a dude. I've been crafting for like 6,000 years in my soul and I deserve this. I deserve to be here. Guys, body hair serves a purpose, all right? It not only regulates our body temperature, but more importantly, it protects us from infection. Yes, this protective layer is crucial to keep us clean. And as my grandmother always used to say, it wards off evil spirits. The first thing you're gonna need is just any pair of panties, preferably one that matches your skin tone so that we can get as believable as possible. Panties. I uh, couldn't get real pubes today, but yarn should work just fine. Yarn. You're gonna want a lot of yarn. You never know when you're gonna wanna make a friendship bracelet super last minute, so I like to just keep um, my hair substitute on me at all times uh, in a safe place. Okay, that's that. So if you guys are feeling wild, you can totally use a needle and thread to do this. I'm gonna uh, use my glue gun. I love my glue gun. So grab my glue gun. Glue gun. Pew, pew. Super crucial that we grab our favorite trusty pair of scissors. Scissors. And of course, a banana. Nanner for potassium. <laughs> I'm just gonna start to cut my string at about four to five inches and lay it out in a pile here. You can add to it, you know, you can braid it. Vajazzling is a thing the kids do these days. We really get to experiment with that today and we're gonna get pretty bushy here, so. So hold tight. Now that I've uh, cut my uh, pubic yarn to the desired length and thickness that I'm feeling today, uh, we're gonna glue it on. I'm just gonna plug my glue gun in. And while this shit heats up, let's take it over to my comfort zone. Let's get into some breathing. We're going to start with big Buddha belly breaths. That's right, everyone inhale. Bring it down into your belly and exhale. Up and out through the lungs, out through the crown of your head. Bring it in through the nose. Just getting in touch with the natural ebb and flow of the universe here. Out through the nose. Moving on now to some quick breaths of fire. And through the nose. This one's called dragon's breath. Inhale. Guys, I feel like a million bucks. Whew. Let's get back to crafting. Whew. Feeling so much better. Hope you guys are too. Now let's get to gluing. So as you can see here, we've got our pubic yarn and you can really just take it by the clump here. Little bit of glue starting at the bottom of the panty, just doing a line across and literally just sticking the top of the yarn on. If a couple strands fall, it's only natural. You know, I did consider using my own hair uh, for this project. It has been falling out because of, uh, you know, average stress, just <laughs> being a woman in the world today, you know, and don't even get me started 
on magazine headlines. 65 ways to shave your whole body. All the ways nipple hair ruined my life. Reasons why you're better bare. The benefits of bleaching your asshole. The connection between body hair and witchcraft. As you guys can see here, my hairy underwear turned out freaking phenomenally. Um, it's very possible that yours didn't turn out as well as mine did. Just gonna give them one more little trim on the bottom, clean them up a tiny bit, and um, yeah, let's get these bad boys on. What's up, guys? I'm feeling fucking lit in my very own pair of hairy underwear. -y. Um, now that I have these bad boys on, I'm feeling ready to conquer the world. I'm gonna be wearing these things out on the town today, all day, all night, and um, I hope I'm inspiring everyone I walk past. I wanna know all your thoughts on this craft, guys. If you are inspired to make your own, let me know. Comment below your fears and anxieties about body hair so that we can start this discussion worldwide. This was so fun fun today. Join me next time for more ridiculous shit. I love you guys. If you guys enjoyed these freaky deaky crafts as much as I did, please let me know. Like, subscribe, talk to me in the comments. And don't forget to check out this super special super deluxe newsletter for all things super deluxe. You're gonna love it. See you next time.